Phase four, screen, skins, mini pads, and baffle. This phase contains optional safety nets that extend forward on either side of the simulator. Locate the top corner and peel back the looped Velcro along the edge of the net. Attach the hook Velcro on the net to the back face of extended bar C. Then pull the netting taut around the outside of the frame toward the front and secure it with a sandbag. Repeat this step for the safety net on the right side, applying it to the back face of extended bar C in the front. Impact screen. Orient the impact screen with the side not lined with grommets on the bottom where the screen touches the floor. This side features a mesh pocket to secure the ripcord. The impact screen is attached to the frame with a ball tie through each grommet. Attach the corners to the frame first to create stability and tension for the remaining grommet attachments. Loop a ball tie through a grommet from the back to front so the ball is hidden behind the screen. Wrap the stretchy part around the metal frame and secure it around the ball. When all four corners of the impact screen are secured, attach the grommets bordering the top of the screen first. Then secure the remaining grommets on the left and right sides in an alternating fashion. When the impact screen is completely attached to the frame, the rip cord can be tied in. On one side of the frame, feed a tape measure through the bottom pocket on the impact screen. Tie the bungee cord tightly through the eyelet with a double knot. We do not want this to come undone. Loosely tie the other end to the tape measure and pull the bungee back through from the other side. Untie the bungee from the tape measure and pull the bungee so it is stretched tight. While maintaining this tension, Double knot the bungee to the eyelet and secure it tightly. On the trapeze screen, identify the bottom of the mesh as the only side without a Velcro lining. Start in a corner at the top and attach the Velcro on the trapeze screen to the Velcro on the impact screen. Adhere the Velcro across the top and then down the sides. There are three carpet pads, two nine by 103 inch pads that wrap around the left and right sides of the frame and one 18 by 141 inch pad that borders the top of the frame. On the right side of the frame, work from the top down and align the left side of a side carpet pad to the Velcro on the impact screen. The carpet pad should go beyond the impact screen at the top to cover the gap between the screen and the frame. When placed correctly, the carpet pad should hang a few inches off the side of the frame. With the excess carpet pad that hangs beyond the frame, wrap it around the outside of extended bar C and attach it to the Velcro tape on the back of this bar. Do the same with the second 9 by 103 inch carpet pad on the other side. Using the 18 by 141 inch carpet pad, align the top corner between the corner of the frame created by extended bar A and bar B. Apply the top carpet pad flat against the white impact screen so the top of the carpet pad is even with the top of the frame. There are two 4 by 101 inch mini pads for the sides and one 4 by 141 inch mini pad for the top. Place a mini pad designated for the sides under bar B so it lines up evenly with the outside of the frame. Work from top to bottom and press the Velcro on the pad firmly into the impact screen. Repeat this step with the second mini pad on the other side. Place the longer mini pad even with the top of the frame and as close as possible to bar B. Nestle this longer mini pad between the two mini pads on the sides.
Top skin. Locate the edge of the skin with two strips of Velcro sewn in. This edge attaches to the back side of the simulator. Attach the back right corner of the top skin to the back right corner of the frame, at which extended bar A intersects bar B. Note that the top skin will not cover extended bar C in the back of the simulator. Attach the entire back edge of the top skin to the back edge of the frame. Continue attaching the top skin to the left side of the frame on bar B, pulling tightly so the screen begins to tauten. Again, the top skin will not cover extended bar C that is vertical in the front. Repeat the previous step on the right side before securing the front edge of the top skin to the frame. Pull the skin tautly and attach it to the top of extended bar A in the front of the frame. Right side skin. On the right side skin, the bigger of the two cutouts is on the left of the bottom edge. On the right side skin, attach the top left corner of the screen to the top left corner of the frame at which extended bar C intersects bar B. Align the Velcro on the side skin with the bars on the side of the frame. Work your way around the side frame so the side skin completely attaches to the Velcro. The side skin covers the entire side of the simulator frame and attaches to the Velcro on the outside of the bars. Lift the frame up into the air and pull the excess material at the bottom from the outside underneath the frame. Wrap the skin completely around bar B and attach it to the hook Velcro on the top side of bar B. Left side skin. On the left side skin, the bigger of the two cutouts is on the right of the bottom edge. Attach the top left corner of the screen to the top left corner of the frame at which extended bar C intersects bar B. The Velcro on the side skin aligns with the bars on the side of the frame. Work your way around the side so the side skin completely attaches to the Velcro on the side frame. Lift the frame up into the air and pull the excess material at the bottom underneath the frame. Wrap the skin completely around bar B and attach it to the hook Velcro on the top side of bar B. The side skins should be firmly attached to the sides of the frame. Near the back edge of the simulator, Peel back the second strip of Velcro located on the top skin to expose the hook Velcro for the baffle to attach. Orient the Velcro on the baffle so it is on top and facing away from you. Push the baffle into the second strip of Velcro for the length of the simulator. This concludes phase four of the Elite Series assembly process.